Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin and Michael Collins were launched on their historic mission by the giant Saturn V rocket. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. All engine running. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. 32 minutes past the hour. Liftoff on Apollo 11. The rocket, which used enough fuel for a typical family car to drive 9 million miles, had three stages. Each was discarded after serving its purpose. The fragile lunar module, Eagle, was garaged safely inside the third stage, which fired Apollo out of Earth orbit. It took the spacecraft three days to reach the moon. Once in lunar orbit, Eagle separated from the command module. Capcom, we're go for landing. Eagle, Houston, you're go for landing, over. Only former test pilot Armstrong's skill saved the landing from disaster. He saw they were headed for a large crater and skimmed across the surface to find a safe spot. Hundreds of millions of people watched him step on the surface and utter his famous first words. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Eagle had two sections, the descent stage and the ascent stage. For blast off, the descent stage acted as a makeshift launch pad. Once back in lunar orbit, Eagle redocked with Columbia and was jettisoned into space before the astronauts headed for home. The return journey took three days and the final moment of serious peril came when Columbia re-entered the Earth's atmosphere at a velocity of 36,000 feet per second, enduring temperatures of up to 5,000 degrees Fahrenheit. US President Richard Nixon was on board the USS Hornet recovery ship to greet the astronauts after they splashed down in the Pacific Ocean 950 miles from Hawaii. From liftoff to splash down, the mission lasted 195 hours, 17 minutes and 49 seconds, just 27 seconds longer than NASA had scheduled.